Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you may be, welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I do still hope you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned, and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Nothing I love more than a good bargain, and we are all about that here. Um, today we're going to be testing out a new eyeshadow palette I got from Walmart. This is the Oma by Sharon C Eye Service Eyeshadow Quad. Right up my alley, guys right up my alley. I love this kind of color story. Nice and warm. You've got two mattes and two shimmers. The packaging is not the best, but it's also not the worst that I've ever seen at Walmart. You've got a, a nice kind of cardboard uh, situation. Uh, not crazy about this kind of flimsy window, but it really doesn't matter to me. This seems like it's going to be super, super travel friendly. And this is perfect for those days when you just don't know what to do. Uh, I am in... It's going to be a little bit of a chatty get ready with me today. I'm getting ready to do absolutely nothing. Uh, my husband and my son are on a schedule now where they like to stay up all night and sleep all day. So I spend all day quietly walking around my house trying not to wake them up. <laughs> uh, and it's got me in a little bit of a funk. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to play with a little bit of makeup and hopefully that helps me feel just a little bit better. Um, but I'm just not feeling particularly inspired today. Uh, so I wanted to reach for something that you know, I didn't really have to think too much about. And this is definitely that. Uh, we're going to swatch all four of these shades right here. I actually have them on this eye already beautiful beautiful formula really really easy to use beautifully pigmented but buildable so it's not wham like pigment all at one time you can build it up you can get a, a, a little bit of depth uh, I do think that this is not like my perfect I'm not a quad type of gal I really enjoy a bigger type of uh, at least six shades so I have a little bit of variety but for a quad this is really really nice I do wish there was just a little bit more depth available in this, but I am very happy with the look that I was able to get with it. It's really pretty. Very, uh, very kind of easy sunset eye. I'm also playing with a couple of eyelash extensions that I picked up from Dollar Tree. If you guys haven't watched my Dollar Tree video, definitely go do that. That video was so much fun, and I found so many fun little things uh, at Dollar Tree that I'm so in love with. But I've been wanting to experiment with false lashes a little bit more here recently. And I thought that this was a really nice way to kind of get started. These are just individual lash extensions. I got this for a dollar at Dollar Tree and y'all, they look so nice. I actually have them on both eyes already because <clears throat> I don't edit my videos. And again, I, I don't play with lashes very often. Y'all should have seen me trying to put these lashes on. Uh, it's not it's not super difficult, but I'm blind as a freaking bat. So I'm sitting here with my mirror right here and tweezers right here trying to get it. it. It was a process, but I really, really enjoy how they look on my eyes. They just look super, super natural, but they give me that little bit of lift and volume on the outer corner that I want and try to get with mascaras. And aren't, I'm not always like really able to achieve with just a mascara. So these are great. Uh, if you guys have been looking at these and just kind of wondering if they're any good, go get them. They're so, so good. So they have this pair, which is a little bit more natural. And then they also have this package. These kind of scare me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. They're gigantic. Uh, and I'm just, guys, I'm just not that experienced with lashes. Uh, but I think these are a little bit more approachable because, again, they're just individual lash extensions. But these look so much bigger. Uh, look at these compared to these. And you will see that there is a very, very real difference in volume and length. But even just these little ones really just gave me that kind of lift and flutter on the outer corner that I think is so, so pretty. And really uh, helps to accentuate my eye shape. So, so stunning. So we'll stop talking about the lashes real quick. And we will move on to the eyeshadow palette. palette. Again, this is Oma by Sharon C. This is the Eye Service Eyeshadow Quad. These are really, really spectacular quality. Uh, I really enjoy Oma by Sharon C. One of my favorite eye, uh, eyebrow pencils is the Oma by Sharon C. Two-in-one, one-and-done brow styler. So this is really fantastic. Not the most affordable brand at Walmart, but 
really not the most expensive either. They're really, really nice. And I think for the quality of the products that you get, I think the price is completely justified. But this eye eyebrow pencil is so nice. So on one side, you get this really beautiful, very thin, very precise eyebrow pencil. And then on the other side, you get an absolutely phenomenal brow gel. It's slightly tinted. I really, really enjoy the size of the spoolie. This is fantastic. If you've been looking at this and really wanted to check this out, I highly recommend this as well. Though I do think that there are other products at the drugstore that work just as well that are a little bit more uh, affordable. But the fact that you get two in one uh, in this pencil really is just, it's, it's, a, it's a great value. Uh, so again, moving right along onto the eyeshadow palette because for some reason I keep getting distracted. So again, two mattes. You have a really beautiful bright sunshiny yellow. You have more of like a darker kind of burnt orange. You have this really beautiful deep kind of metallic red and then this beautiful, beautiful gold. So we'll start with the mattes first. So this is the orange. Look how beautifully pigmented that is. This is the yellow. This yellow is everything. I just love that color of yellow. Really beautiful, bright, kind of like sunny side, sunshine kind of yellow. Uh, the shimmers in here, uh, the metallics, they're not shimmers, they're metallics. There's nothing glittery about them, but they are so creamy and so incredibly pigmented. Really, really beautiful. I mean, extremely gorgeous quality. And that is the uh, gold. So those are all four shades. Uh, I do like that the mattes are the lighter, kind of lighter shades. Uh, so you have a light tone matte and then a mid tone matte. And then you have like kind of like a deeper uh, depth adding kind of shimmer. And then you have a really beautiful highlight golden shade. This is really pretty. I think the way that they curated this eyeshadow palette and curated the color story was was very thoughtful. You have a shade in here for everything that you need. Uh, you have a brow bone, you have a crease, you have an outer corner and an inner corner. It's just super, super thoughtless. And you know, if y'all are anything like me, there are days where I just need that thoughtless kind of just mindless eyeshadow palette where I can just pick it up, get it done and just be done with, be, be done with it for the day. And then it is so nice when you're able to get this really beautiful, soft kind of glowy eye look. And warm tones are just so flattering on everybody. So for this eye look, we're going to use two brushes. It is going to be the simplest thing ever. I really just wanted to demo this palette for you because I think they're so, so nice. I know that this comes in a couple of different variations. I wasn't able to find them at my local Walmart. This is the only one. Uh, this is the only quad that they had available. But it's so me. I'm not even mad about it. We're going to jump into this really beautiful bright yellow first. We're going to take that on this big fluffy profusion brush. And I'm going to wipe it off because I use the uh, darker orange. I'm using this brush for basically everything today. So let's go in to the beautiful bright yellow. Uh, I will say you do not need to dig your brush into, I mean, it's there. Uh, you do not need to dig your brush into this palette at all whatsoever. Uh, they're beautifully pigmented. They're not super hard pressed either. So you can really just kind of dip your brush in and you get a really nice amount of pigmentation. I think this sunshiny yellow is the most beautiful color. I am so absolutely in love with it. I love yellow eyeshadow anyway. And I think yellows are one of those colors that are a little bit difficult. I don't know if they're difficult to formulate or but you never, it's, 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 it's very rare that you get a yellow eyeshadow that's really yellow, uh, especially when it's got that nice amount of pigmentation. I think yellow leans a little bit more pastel as well. So you really have to like add the pigment to the eyeshadow to really get it to show up on the eye without having to sit there for 10 minutes and really build up and build it up and pack on that pigment. But this is just so easy and so quick. And I think that's another one of the things that makes this eyeshadow palette so special is it's just so convenient. It is just, it, it, everything is right there. We're going into the orange now, just on the same brush. And I'm going to bring this right directly into my crease. Look at the pigmentation on that. I mean, that is freaking pigmented. I love it so, so much. They blend it beautifully as well. I'm just taking small circular kind of buffing motions and taking this throughout the entire crease. I think the way that the shadows in this quad play together are really, really nice as well. 
it took absolutely nothing. I'm using very, very gentle pressure. And it took absolutely nothing for me to get that blended out. Uh, the edges soften really, really nicely. You're not left with any kind of harsh lines. It's really fantastic. Really, really gorgeous. Uh, I know this quad, this quad for four eyeshadows goes for around $10.00. I also know that you can get a 10 pan palette from Profusion for around five or six dollars. So half of that for for over twice as many shadows. Uh, but I will say that the quality of this is just a little bit better uh, than Profusion. And if you're looking for something, I will say the Profusion shadows don't travel as well either. So if you're looking something for something that you can keep in your purse or keep in the car, and it's really travel friendly, it's really easy to use. I think this is a really, really nice option. And on top of that, if you're wanting to support black owned businesses, I think this is a really nice palette as well. Owned by Sharon C is a black owned business, a black owned brand. And I think that's important as well. Just being uh, cognizant of where your money is going, what you're spending your money on. So guys, two shades, one brush. That's what we're looking like. We are beautifully blended. We have an absolutely extraordinary kind of uh, gradient happening on the uh, transition area. We're going to switch to a different brush now. This is my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This is a super, super affordable, just kind of cheapy eyeshadow brush. It's more of a flat packing slash smudger brush. I love this thing, though. I use this brush almost every single time I do my makeup. We're going to go into the darkest shimmer in the, sh uh, sh in the palette now. This is called, I think it's uncalled what are you called uh snatched i think so we're going to go into this really beautiful deep dark burnished kind of red color and we're just going to pack this right onto the outer corner and outer half of the lid this is what's going to add just a little bit of depth to the look for us i think that the reflect on this metallic shadow or the shine is super super pretty but also very very flattering and wearable uh, there are some metallic or shimmer shadows that can really enhance the texture on the eyelid uh, guys y'all know i'm a wrinkly girl i got wrinkles everywhere i have wrinkly eyelids as well and sometimes uh metallic or shimmer shades can just be super unflattering uh to to the skin on my eyes but this is such a soft kind of sheen it's just very smoothing it goes on it smooths everything out it makes everything look nice and just kind of even it's nice it's really really nice and I really really enjoy it I'm gonna take the same brush I'm gonna wipe it off on my towel down here and now we're gonna dip into this beautiful gold shade and we're just gonna pack this right onto the inner portion of the lid. These metallics pick up really, really beautifully with a brush as well, which is another thing I really, really appre appreciate. I nine times out of 10 have my nails done. And most often with shimmer shades or, uh, you know, metallic shades, they would usually work best with a finger. And y'all, I cannot be digging my finger into an eyeshadow palette, uh, though this does make it pretty easy to do. Uh, I just don't want to risk gouging my eyeshadow. Uh, so the fact that these pick up with a dry brush as easily as they do just amps up the uh, effectiveness and the effortlessness of this eyeshadow palette and really just make it that much more worth the price for me. And that's it, guys. Those two shimmers blended effortlessly and seamlessly together. We're going to take that big fluffy brush and we're just going to run it through the crease one more time just to clean up any edges that might be there. And that's it. How beautiful is that? It took us all of probably would have only taken me like three or four minutes had I not been sitting here talking about the eyeshadow palette uh, but it really is just so so absolutely incredible we're gonna add a little bit of a uh, brown liner to this uh, just to kind of bump up the lash line a little bit uh, this was also a purchase from my Dollar Tree adventure uh, this is the LA colors uh, felt tip liquid eyeliner this is in the shade brown and this is actually really really fantastic I uh, used this for the first time today 
day. Just kind of wanted to test it out, see how it worked. And y'all, I was so impressed. It's beautifully pigmented, really, really easy to use. It goes on the eye, just kind of, it doesn't really tug. It's got a nice amount of uh, product to it. It doesn't skip on the eye. It's just really nice. I'm going to take this and do a little line. along my upper lash line and another thing about these Ioni lash extensions is the bands are so thin a it makes them super super easy to apply but B because they're so thin they don't disrupt the lash line so it made it possible for me to be able to put the actual lash extension on first and then go in with my eyeliner and it didn't disrupt my eyeline at all. So that's really nice to know as well. I'm not usually one to come on and have things like that done first, but it's nice to know that I can and that it's not going to disrupt uh, my ability to do my makeup. So that's really, really nice. Uh, I like this eye sh uh, this eyeliner as well because it's not feathering. Like I said, I have wrinkly eyelids and a lot of times I, a liquid liner will feather into all the fine lines on my uh, eyelid and it will just it just looks like a spidery like a spider webby mess and it's not cute but this has given me a really beautiful nice crisp clean line which I really really appreciate even on my hood out here it hasn't really spidered or feathered at all. So that is so, so nice. I am really happy about that. Uh, for eyeliner today, we're gonna use an All May eyeliner. This is the All May Eyeliner Crayon. This is in the shade Black Brown. I wanted to use something just a little bit softer. I usually go in with a black. Uh, my absolute favorite is the Milani Stay Put Liner in the shade After Dark. I love this thing so, so much. Uh, but I wanted something a little bit softer, not quite so stark. Uh, so we're gonna go in with the All May. I'm going to line both my upper. I know this always looks so painful when I do this. I promise you I'm not touching my eye though. Just lining my upper waterline. And my lower waterline. Let me know, guys, uh, do your kids, like, if you have children, what is going on? Like, I know summertime is the time to chill, and I know summertime is the time where, you know, they, they don't have to wake up early, and they don't have to have a bedtime, and all of that good stuff. I have allergies like crazy today, too, and I know that, you know, but Lord have mercy, my husband and my son both do the same thing. I literally, I woke up at, uh, I woke up at 6.30 this morning and my husband was still sitting in the living room watching TV, doing his thing, wide awake, didn't wake up yesterday until five o'clock, uh, five o'clock in the evening. And it's just, it leaves me here by myself all day, all my, by my lonesome. And I appreciate the time alone and the, and the quiet time because I don't get that very often, but it's just like, I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm so lucky I have y'all to keep me company. I'm going to go on to the lower lash line with a little bit of this brown shade. Just going to take that same elf eyeshadow brush. I'm going to wipe it off on my towel, make sure I get all of that gold uh, and metallic pigment off. And I'm just going to slightly tap into this orange and bring that on my lower lash line just to kind of tie everything in. Get a little bit of color going on down there. That is so pretty. I really, really, really like this eyeshadow quad. 
if I could find the other uh, variations of this quad at my Walmart, I would pick them up in a heartbeat. There is something to be said about ease of use, something that you can just pick up and use and not have to think about that is so, so special and so important, really, you know, especially for, uh, you know, the, the everyday woman who has always got, y'all, if y'all are anything like me, I always have a million and one different things to do. I have dinners to cook and laundry to do and dishes, and dishes to clean and floors to sweep and mop and vacuum. I have things I have to do every day and they, there's just not enough hours in the day to get them all done. And nine times out of 10, I don't have 20, 30, 45 minutes to sit here and do this really beautiful, like exotic kind of eye look. Uh, on, like in my everyday life, I'm really just looking for palettes like this that I can just pick up, put on my eyes, not have to think too much about and be done. And I think this is absolutely stunning. I think the quality of these shadows chef's kiss really really great i think they look beautiful and seamless on the eye i think there's just enough of a little something special there to keep it looking uh to keep it from looking super super basic but i just it's so beautiful and i think that this warm like yummy kind of uh color story is going to be flattering for so many skin tones so many eye colors i really think it's so so beautiful i love that i'm gonna add a little bit of mascara this is my rimmel scandalize volume on demand mascara this is not waterproof but i love what this does to my lashes so so much I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, though my allergies are insane today, I hope that you can't hear it in my voice. But if you can, I am so stuffy and cannot breathe at all. Uh, but I think it just, I don't even know where I was going with that. Y'all, I like this mascara. <laughs> I'm so scatterbrained today. Okay, I like what this mascara does to my eyes. I like what it does to my lashes. Oh, my allergies are crazy, but my eyes are not super watery today. Knock on wood. Uh, so I'm gonna go for the non-waterproof mascara. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tips of my lashes. I'm not gonna put too much on because again, I have those uh, eyelash extensions on and I don't wanna like get them all gooped up with mascara. But I'm just gonna put a little touch of it on the tips and then a little bit on my lower lashes just to kind of define them a touch if you guys haven't tried this mascara it is so nice i really 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 enjoy it it's got this kind of cone shaped brush which really helps with the outer corner and really helps to flare out the lashes and then i love the formula as well uh, it's not too watery but it's not too thick either it's just really great it makes the eyelashes look so pretty it's not clumpy it really separates all the lashes and gives them all kinds of volume and extra length so so beautiful uh and guys that is gonna be our video for today super sweet super short uh i actually have a uh shop miss a haul coming up very very shortly so if you guys are interested interested in that be on the lookout it's gonna be really really fun i got so much really fun super cute stuff if you don't know what shop miss a is they are a an online makeup retailer but y'all everything they have is so dirt cheap like i'm talking about 99 percent of their stuff is a dollar uh i don't think that mo i don't think much if if if, if any, uh, goes above $10. Uh, most of their makeup products are like a dollar, a dollar 55. Uh, we're, I got so much good stuff. So, uh, that is going to be the next video that I download. So definitely be on the lookout for that guys. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you are not as lonely as I am. I hope that you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. Please know you are so, so very loved. And I am so grateful that you choose to spend your time with me. As always, no filters, no edits, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. I will, of course, list everything I used in today's video in the description box below, along with the links to all my other social medias. If you guys are not following me on all my other socials, please do that. Your support means more to me than you will ever, ever know. And I am so, so appreciative. And as always, until next time, my loverlies, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember... You're important. Bye.